Hi everyone, it's Agnes and for those of you that have watched the two interviews I've done with Kristen, Kristen from Europe, she has sent in another expat story. It's one that's from her past but she thought that the process that she went through might help many of you and I agree with her so I'm going to read it to you now. Okay, so there is this guy that I'd been dating for a few months from January 2015 to April 2015. It all started wonderfully. He asked me out on dates, he put so much effort into coming up with a great plan, he bought me flowers and my favourite chocolate. He invited me to his friends and he was generally very interested and cute towards me. However, I started to want more and more and I completely let go of being appreciative of his efforts. I started fights. I ignored him to teach him a lesson. My vibration lowered and I got mad. Due to my low vibration, my suspiciousness, my neediness, he pulled away. He started to lie to me and he didn't want to see me as often as I would have liked anymore. I remember being with a friend and I wanted him to pick me up but he wouldn't. Due to my you need to do something for me, for me to feel okay, he didn't do these things. It left me feeling emotionally so drained that I had to cry in front of my friend. Also, one day he went to a lake with his friends without including me and I got terribly mad and hurt. We fought via text and I blocked him out of anger. I tend to be extremely childish when I get mad at guys and I immediately felt embarrassed and ashamed. I unblocked him but he would not contact me anymore after that fight. Obviously, I had underlying beliefs that were I'm not a priority, I'm not loved, I'm not important, I don't matter. I also knew that I developed beliefs about him. He's a player, he's a liar, he doesn't love me. Watching Agnes's videos I knew that he was me pushed out and that it was my responsibility to correct it. So here's what I did. I did self-love meditations, I sat in meditation affirming I am a priority. I stopped trying to get over there. I meditated for at least an hour a day with self-love affirmations. However, I started to miss him badly at first but I knew longing is a state of lack and that I am in charge of my love and that is when he will come back. I made the decision to pull myself out of missing him. The first reflection of practicing self-love in my reality was that I attracted several admirers. Three weeks later I came to the point where I no longer waited for a text message from him. I told myself missing does not bring you anywhere. I surrendered and I let go. I came to the point where I felt okay without him. It is not that I lost my desire to be with him, I just went on with my life and focused on me. I even doubted he would ever come back. I just thought, it's okay. I went on dates with other guys because I was in the mood of meeting them. It was not coming from a place of I need someone else. I just wanted to talk to men because I thought it was fun. I also scripted for releasing resistance. I wrote down my feelings and longing and desperation of longing and desperation that I will never that it will never work out this made me release my deep feelings of missing him oh, I also did gratitude daily about my life and everything he has done for me again I appreciated all his efforts and everything that he had done however then was his 21st birthday on the 20th of June I had been out on a date the whole day enjoying myself and the time spent with this guy when it was literally 3 a.m. something inside of me told me text him it was very strong feeling I guess this is what some people call inspired action I went for it and text him a simple happy birthday he replied and was really happy to hear from me it was confusing to me that he was so happy about me contacting him he texted again and he told me that he still finds me adoring he said that he was thinking about me so often he suggested a date wow self-love and trying to get over him really did its magic but it's not done here. The text was kind of sluggish. It did not go the way I wanted to. I was too tense and I was too much into the talking mode. I constantly thought why is it so sluggish? Why doesn't he text more? And then reinforced itself through less and less conversation. He even told me he wants me to put in all the effort that I would have to do something to get him. Two weeks after the happy birthday text I decided to call it quits until my manifestation is fully hatched. I even told him you know this is going nowhere. 
the end of July, I went on holidays and I watched Agnes's video on radiating unconditional love out to the person. I did this while lying in the pool and I do not kid you, he reached out to me that evening, tells me in big letters, Mrs. Me, and that he cannot stop thinking of me, that he just does not get me out of his head. Since I was still skeptical of his true feelings, I pushed him away once again. But then finally, at the end of August, my breakthrough, he told me all about his feelings, that he misses me, that he can't stop thinking about me, that he was so angry at me for having been so ungrateful and childish. He told me that was the reason he pulled away, because I did not appreciate him and his efforts. He told me he wanted to have me back. He was on holidays and sent me a postcard from there, which is so sweet. As we met, after not having seen each other for five months, it was amazing. We had an amazing time. He was so appreciative, kind and interested in me. I'd been drinking a little bit too much that evening because we were at a lovely bar and he did take care of me so lovingly. Ever since then, up to now, his behavior is so wonderful towards me. Until I met my person, he would call me every day and even send me gifts. He even sent me sweet love letters. He moved to another city in Germany, so we don't see each other anymore, but we are in contact ever since. I am also working through my limiting beliefs about him. I, no, as I worked through my limiting beliefs about him, his behavior is still appreciative and loving. Even though I'm not with him and I'm not interested in him romantically anymore, he still calls me regularly. Oh, Kristen, lovely. That's beautiful. I like how you broke that down. Just really, just good, just fabulous self-reflection and insight. So thank you for sending that. I think that will help a lot of people. So I will put Kristen's two interviews down in the description below. And I will put the how to get an ex back specific person series playlist down below as well. And I think that's it. So I will see you in the next YouTube.